Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know how to do this video today without sounding like a Grinch, but I still wanted to come to you with a video today because at the current time that this video is coming to you, I mean, it depends like with your time difference, there's two more days until Christmas. So you're probably running around frantically, maybe like stressing a little bit, or maybe you're just like totally relaxed and having the time of your life. Please share with me where you're at in the comments down below. I still wanted to come to you today with a short little video. I'm super curious to know where you land on this topic. And I wanted to talk to you today about the, the weird social media like flexing that takes place around Christmas time. And what I'm basically referring to are the ever popular, ever famous what I got for Christmas videos. And I wanna take some time with you today to kind of unpack this video concept and this kind of style of video and also share with you my experience having made these types of videos for literally like years and years of my life on YouTube. And this year I'm no longer doing a video like that. I don't even think I did one last year. Yeah, last year I think was the first year I didn't do a video like this. And I wanna kind of talk about that with you in a little bit more depth. and why I kind of think what I got for Christmas videos are a little bit toxic. And I kind of want to like read the room. I kind of want you to share with me if you, if you can, where you land on this and how you feel about this. Because I think maybe during COVID, people were a little bit fatigued and they weren't really interested in seeing people flaunt their hauls and their wealth and their all the things that they have online. But I do feel like now that we're on the other side of the pandemic, maybe people are a little bit more okay with that kind of content and they're kind of back on board with that kind of content. Personally, like, I'm not really about that kind of content at all. Maybe I'm all alone in this kind of thought process, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments down below. What I got for Christmas videos are really a tradition at this time of year, and they're very, very popular in the shopping genre side of YouTube, the fashion side of YouTube, and they're also very, very popular in the luxury community of YouTube. We see large, large YouTube creators with hundreds of thousands of subscribers and we also see smaller creators post them, but you know, we see a variety of size channels in the luxury space share their designer purchases. And I mean, like I said, we see it in all different genres. You know, we see it in the lifestyle community, the beauty community, the regular fashion community. But I, I guess just from my experience coming from that kind of designer headspace, it's very much a popular video and these videos do very, very well around this time of the year. The kind of, you know, luxury what I got for Christmas videos. And they always usually go live either on Christmas or Boxing Day, like the day just after. And that's usually a quick turnaround, which makes me think they're either filmed on Christmas and, you know, with a really quick turnaround or they're kind of pre-filmed maybe a week before and uploaded on Christmas day. And there's always usually a disclaimer at the start of the video about how the creator is super grateful and you know, they know that Christmas isn't about gifts and Christmas is about more than just material items. And I wanna do a quick disclaimer before we go into the video. In no way, shape or form am I bragging with any of these presents. I just know that you guys enjoy seeing what I get for Christmas. Also disclaimer, I'm not bragging in this video. If you guys know me, you know my heart, this is, it's not me too brown. Okay, just... Literally everyone makes fun of this, but I feel like you just have to say it. I obviously am not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. Christmas isn't about the gifts. It's about spending time with your family and gifts, you know, cost a amount of money, but family is priceless and spending time with your family is priceless. And then they tend to like rattle off. Some of them do, some of them don't, but like some of them rattle off the names of who got them what. And a lot of time these gifts are, you know, to and from them. So, you know, it's a bit of a gifting situation. And I, I always find it very interesting, the, the disclaimer and then, the, and then the rattling off the names, like we know these people, <laughs> we actually don't. And yeah, it, it, like I said, it's very much a, a popular video in, in all different types of genres, but the, the luxury community is very, very well known for these types of videos. And they do really well. You know, we see multiple handbags, unboxings, multiple accessories, shoes, see little stocking stuffers, little knickknacks of luxury, whether it be, you know, a Dior notebook or a Louis Vuitton perfume or an Hermes paperweight, things that are smaller, but equally just as pricey, one would argue. I just want to acknowledge, I guess, in the headspace I'm in now, how kind of weird I think it is that I used to come online and share with you like things that I got myself and things that I got for Christmas. And I guess, again, my own personal opinion, everyone's allowed to have one, but I do think it's a little bit weird. It's, I think it's a little bit weird, this kind of idea of coming on and sharing Sharing sounds so lovely, but I definitely think that these kind of videos are very much all in the name of entertainment, but I can't help but feel the way I feel, which is why I'm sharing with you today. And I'm well aware it's not a popular opinion. I'm well aware it's an unpopular opinion. And it's probably not the intention of these videos, 
But looking back on my experience filming these videos and just how I feel about these videos now, I do think they're a bit weird. And I know they're supposed to come off like wholesome and lovely and like light and fluffy and like very much entertainment based. But they kind of just come off a little bit like show offy and kind of a little bit gloaty. I'm well aware I probably just use like multiple words that aren't actually real words at all, but that's just kind of how I see them now. I always filmed them because I know they would do well. It was never about you. It was never something that I was doing for you. It was more for myself. It was videos that I knew would do well and that would help me see a lot of traction on my channel, a lot of growth. And I truly, like, I would love the comments. The comments would make me feel great about myself. That It was a validation I was looking for. And maybe I'm alone in that feeling and that belief, but I just don't know. Like, I know YouTubers say, oh, like, I do it because you guys love to see it and, like, it's helpful for you. And I don't really know how it is helpful. When I think back to when I did it, I did it for me. I did it because I knew that it would do well and there were videos that went really popular and, you know, went kind of, I want to say the term viral, but they did, like, do really well in the community. And that's kind of why I did it. And I remember always feeling a little bit weird. Like, something felt off about filming those types of videos, but I always just, like pushed those feelings down and just filmed them anyway because it was the done thing, because I knew that they would do well. I know, like I said, I'm in the minority. And if you are someone who enjoys these types of videos and watches these types of videos, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below what about them you like. Because I guess for me, it's similar to the come shop with me videos, but I can like, I guess not really, because in my head, taking your camera shopping and showing somebody what's in the stores, I don't know, weirdly that doesn't seem as strange as like sitting down and sharing with an audience of strangers a bunch of things that you bought yourself or that people in your life, like loved ones bought you. I don't know, I guess one seems like a little bit more helpful than the other, if I'm being honest. Maybe it's just in the headspace I'm at now, like I like I said, I don't, I don't create videos like that. What about them do you, do you enjoy exactly? Because personally, like I couldn't fathom I couldn't fathom watching a stranger like unbox, you know, a bunch of things regardless of what they were or regardless of the price tag or the item and just like sit there for 30 minutes and watching a stranger online unbox a bunch of stuff that they bought themselves or that, you know, people in their life that I didn't even know bought them. It's just something that I don't see myself ever doing and weirdly when I used to partake in filming these videos, I would always kind of take time away from my family on that day because I would either film on Christmas Eve or I'd film on Christmas Day and edit Christmas night and try to hurry up and get it up by Boxing Day. And that was kind of something that I noticed looking back on. It was taking time, I was taking time away from my family and to me Christmas is about spending time with my family and I was taking time away from like enjoying the moment, relaxing and just spending time with my loved ones to just like sit on my laptop and you know edit myself showing you a bunch of things and, and getting it up online. I want to like spend the moments and spend the time with my friends and my family and like watch them unbox the gifts that I bought them and vice versa. I don't really care to watch a stranger on the internet share with me things that they bought themselves or that, that other people bought them. But I guess maybe it comes down to like a form of escapism and especially maybe in the luxury community kind of getting a glimpse into how someone else lives or maybe if you're not in the same financial situation as some of these women online who unbox a lot of luxury items, designer items, maybe it's kind of like seeing how the other half live and, and what the other half or what wealthy people or what people who have lots of disposable income manage to get for Christmas. I don't know if that's what it comes down to. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below because yeah, like I said, I know these videos are incredibly popular. To me, I kind of think it is a form of flexing. I guess that some would argue that it's helpful and it is maybe a provides inspiration for what you could maybe buy yourself in the new year or what you may want to buy somebody. Um, but I guess maybe those types of videos, I just kind of refer to gift guides. I don't know. I'd really love to hear your thoughts on this one. Again, I don't mean to sound like a downer. I don't mean to sound like a hater. I just am very fascinated by this concept. I guess it, to a lot of people, it might be a form of entertainment. And I'd really love to hear what it is for you in the comments down below if you watch them. And I'd love to hear if, similar to me, you're kind of like not as into them as you used to be, or maybe you've just never been into them. Have you ever watched them? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the trend of like what I got for Christmas. And yeah, if you watch them and if you engage with them, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments down below. If you celebrate Christmas, I wish you a beautiful Merry Christmas and I hope you have the most wonderful, relaxing, merry day. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you just have a beautiful weekend. I'm gonna have a few videos linked for you here. If you wanna check them out, feel free to. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.